Hello there, my name is Luke, and today we're going to be looking at what on earth is going on at North Ferriby. So North Ferriby is a little village just outside of Hull with a population of under 4,000. And as is usually the case with little village clubs, they have got to where they are due to financial backing. And that is from Steve and Iman Forster, a husband and wife team that decided that North Ferriby was going to be their little project. In 2013, North Ferriby were crowned as the champions of the Northern Premier League Premier Division coming up to the Conference North. Then in 2015, they won the FA Trophy. And it was such an incredible moment for such a small club coming to Wembley, beating Wrexham, a giant in comparison to North Ferriby, crowning themselves as FA Trophy champions. The financial backing continued and they had a very, very good squad in the 15-16 season as well that won promotion to the National League via the playoffs after a victory over AFC Files. They beat the Coasters 2-1 after extra time at Grange Lane and that put them into the National League. However, it was at this point that the financial backing mysteriously stopped. The club had one of the smallest budgets in the league and that saw a lot of their key players leaving, a lot of them moving to FC Halifax Town, the likes of Tom Denton, Liam King, all going to Halifax alongside their manager Billy Heath who was also taken to Halifax, a club that was in the National League North. So basically he'd taken North Ferriby to promotion and then dropped back down to the National League North to Halifax. Halifax, granted they are a bigger club, but would he rather be in a higher league? North Ferriby then made the conscious decision to avoid upgrading their ground to the regulations required for the National League due to the fact that they get in attendances of about 400. They're not getting the crowds in and that is because of the size of the club. So basically from day one they knew they were going to get relegated regardless of whether they stayed up mathematically or not. So that really led to a really small budget. They finished bottom of the table and they went down to the National League North. Upon entering the National League North, North Ferriby really struggled once again. They've been bottom of the league for the entire season so far. Again, a really small budget due to Steve and Eman Forster not really being bothered. They've been trying to sell the club for a few years and now they finally have sold the club. They've sold it to Jamie Walton, a former player for North Ferriby. He's had association with teams in the lower reaches of non-league in the Hull area as well, in terms of being an owner or chairman. And the budget continues to be decreased. He's decreased the budget massively from what it was at the start of the season, which again was probably the smallest budget in the league. So they are really struggling for money at North Ferriby. And it has led Jamie Walton to a pretty drastic situation that he is going to try and execute. Now this is something that really took me quite a while to get my head around but I'll try and explain it the best I can. The link to the article will be in the description below so yeah if you guys can go and read through that. It took me a three, few times we're actually reading through it to understand what was going on but it is a very very strange situation. So basically what he is saying is that the village of North Ferriby is not big enough to sustain a club at the National League North level. The crowds are not big enough to sustain the club financially. They've not got enough people coming through the gates and what he wants to do is essentially keep that league status and move it to a team somewhere else. So he wants North Ferriby to still survive but playing in a lower division, effectively starting the club again. Paying for that league status and transferring it somewhere else to a place that has potentially a bigger fan base and can sustain that level of football. Although that is slightly different to AS Wimbledon and MK Dons. Obviously it with, with MK Dons, Pete Winkleman just wanted a club in Milton Keynes in the Football League and he essentially just paid Wimbledon for it. Anyway, back to North Ferriby. The idea that Jamie Walton has come up with means moving to a stadium called Dean Park, most likely, which is the current stadium of East Yorkshire Carnegie, which is a club that Jamie Walton has actually had association with in the past. Now, this might sound a bit mad, but there are actually positives to this situation. Dean Park is located more into the centre of Hull and that is going to attract potentially a larger amount of people to games that are that are in sort of the location of Hull rather than North Ferriby, which is outside of Hull. So potentially could get more people at a match, which is going to enable the club to sustain themselves on higher crowds, higher gate receipts, so they can essentially sustain themselves at a higher level. Which does make sense in theory, but it is really sad to move North Ferriby down a few tiers. And I feel really sorry for the North Ferriby fans. I know that they are a very small fan base, but it is still really unfair on them to see their club essentially just thrown down the leagues now this is going to take a while to get it all through and done with the FA um, will it actually happen I'm not 100% sure because it is such a controversial situation it's actually quite complicated as well but 
it is sort of lacking massive ambition for North Ferriby. They're going to essentially be thrown down to a lower level and pretty much basically mean they're never going to get out of that level. Because if that's what Jamie Walton thinks that they can only sustain, ninth tier he's suggesting, ninth or tenth tier, then that's pretty ridiculous really. There's no ambition there. And, and can they be able to attract players when they're literally saying that we expect to stay at a lower level because that's all that we can afford due to our small fan base? Let me know what you think of this entire situation. Do you support what Jamie Walton is trying to do or do you just feel sorry for North Ferriby and hope that they somehow sort out this mess that is going on at the club? But one thing's for sure, they're going to get relegated this year. You know, it's, it's a shame to see, but that's sort of what happens when clubs do get financially bankrolled and then the owners just get bored and leave. It just, it, it just shows, really. Clubs that start off at a lower level fly up to an unsustainable level that they can't sustain once the owners leave when they get bored and they end up just dropping straight back down and you know in a worse situation than they were when they started they have their few years of fun and then they just drop straight back down so yeah it is sad to see but if you haven't already then remember to hit subscribe to this channel really means a lot to me and yeah it really helps the channel out and move forward so yeah if you want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section down below and yeah thanks for watching